today is Friday, already the end of the last week. Uh, sorry, the last week for Oli, of course, because I'm gonna stay another week. Um, yeah, today I missed my language class. I couldn't find anyone. Uh, couldn't find a teacher that was available today, so I have to watch out here. Crossing the roads is all dangerous, especially uh, oh, wait. <laughs> especially when you're filming at the same time. Um, yeah, so I couldn't find a teacher for today. Instead, I just revised some stuff new words some vocabulary from last week so since I'm in Thailand I eat out three times per day and sometimes it takes a while until they bring my food I find these moments perfect in order to revise my Anki do not have to make free time for it I'm gonna sit here anyway so why not do something useful so I'm just heading to my last lesson this is lesson 10 hours 19 and 20 and it's been an amazing experience to have this many hours of lessons uh, back to back like this uh, really is it, it really has changed my opinions in many ways on language teaching and learning so I'm super happy and very sad to be uh, to be finishing today it's almost the end of your stay in Thailand uh, Oli it is and today was your, you had your last lesson yes yeah, so we called it a 14 day challenge but actually it's, it's not 10. it's 12 days 12 well Two times ten, five. Two, well yeah 10 days of lessons yeah. but yeah really the, the I think that the Thai learning for me ends today on day 12. So mm -hmm. you had my last lesson today. Was this the mm. first time for you to, to, to learn a language in a school? Yes. Well, I mean, the first time, seriously. I've taken the odd language class before in different countries. Um, yeah. never, really, never really got on with it very well. Um, I've taken group classes, private lessons in, in a few different languages. But this is the first time I've kind of studied intensively yeah. um, like that. Yeah. I didn't know what it was going to be like. You know, I think I, I said at the beginning, on day, in day one, like, I'm not sure, like, I don't know if this is really going to work out, because I don't generally like studying in schools, mm -hmm. but I'm so, I couldn't be happier, really. I'm, I'm super happy with the way everything has gone, and, um, you know, in many ways, I'm, com I'm comparing what I've done in the school mm -hmm. for Thai to my experience learning Cantonese, because with Cantonese, mm -hmm. I did it just by myself, with, you know, teachers online, and studying by myself, and, you know... I think with, with what's happened here with Thai is that in these 20 hours, I have got such a strong foundation, mm -hmm. you know, that even though I can't produce it all yeah. properly yet, but I've just got, I feel like I really understand the basics of the language. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know how long that would have taken me I if see. I was doing it by myself. Uh, and why is that? Is that because you had classes in person and, and, that's, and that's different or what? Or is it that the teachers in this language school where you went here in... Uh, I think Bangkok are better than the teachers online, or no, why? you can get amazing teachers, uh, you know, online, offline. Yeah. But I think the format definitely matters because when you know, as a teacher, if you've got a student for twenty hours, mm -hmm. you know, you have to prepare, you have to have a program of study, you have to know what you're going to cover. Mm -hmm. So I think that's um, that's definitely a, a factor. Mm -hmm. you know, if I was booking, say two or three lessons a week for an hour on italki yeah. like would I get this depth of stuff I don't think so like the the lessons wouldn't be very intensive I wouldn't have that intensive study feeling mm -hmm. overall like it, I can't imagine having the same the same kind of massive uh, quality input mm -hmm. all at once mm -hmm. you know how many hours how many lessons have you had it was 20 I think right 10 lessons of two hours each yeah, so in total 20 hours. In total hours. 20 hours, yeah. And don't you think that you could have done the same kind of uh, study schedule online? Like, you book a teacher online for 20 hours and okay, do yeah. exactly the same. Yeah, so the question is, you know, could yeah. I do the same thing online? Yeah, like exactly. Two yeah. hours a day? Maybe. Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess, for yeah. sure. I mean, it's definitely tiring. Like, two hours of one-to-one yeah. -one is, is tiring. For the teacher as well, mm -hmm. you know. It's not easy for a teacher to do one, that many one-to-one -one classes. Could I do 20 hours in two weeks on italki? Uh, yeah. I, I know that there are people that do that. I don't imagine it would be so enjoyable. Yeah. But part yeah, of the yeah, thing yeah, for me yeah, is like waking up in the morning, yeah. getting up, getting on the MRT. Yeah. Oli, what are your plans? What are you going to do with Thai? You're going to continue yeah, see, learning This is it the or? big question. Yeah. Like, you know, when we decided to come here, for me, it was kind of a... I was out of curiosity. I, I'd wanted to learn Thai for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so there was that. I, I also fancied the, I fancied the challenge. I had like, a, a, a mixture of, of uh, different um, situations and yeah. circumstances. Having come this far and done 20 hours and being able to speak Thai now, basic Thai, it would be, it would be a tragedy if I forgot it. It exactly. really would. Um, yeah. 
So I very much want to keep it up. I think I, w I would like to go on and learn to, to write now. I think writing and reading is the very much the next step. Um, so you're going to continue with time? Well, the question is then, how does that fit into my other goals? And how do I fit yeah. that in with my life? And for me, like Cantonese is still, for me, the long term, yeah. the long game. That's what I want to be focused on. So I'm going to need to think really how, when I go back to London in a couple of days' time, how will I, you know, what do I have to do to keep up? Mm -hmm. to keep up time it's going to be a question really yeah. I think of I don't know what do you think like, what, what do you think Be bearing in mind I, you know, I'm a very busy guy with another language yeah, as a priority like, what would you, what do you, what would you know, recommend maybe, like? maybe it's just something that you could do take a Thai class once every two weeks or once every month just to keep it up and not forget it mm. Because if you're not going to do anything with it, yeah, then you're going to forget it anyways. I yeah. think it, um, you don't have to do... In order to learn a language, you need a, a lot of practice. But in order to maintain a language, one lesson in every two weeks, I think, would be enough to keep it right. up. And maybe improve it as well. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like mm. One lesson a week, I would kind of find that a bit too, a bit too much. Yeah, that's too much. Perhaps. Yeah. Um, but one lesson every two weeks, and then going out to language events and finding people to practice with yeah. and trying to make friends. Are we going to see you speaking Thai? You want to see the result, of course, of this. Uh... So yesterday, um, yeah. we rec me and my teacher recorded a video of, of us speaking Thai together for about 25, 30 minutes. So nowhere to hide. This is like the no holds barred, um, like opening the kimono, Ollie's Thai. We're <laughs> going to see it tomorrow. And you'll see that probably on Sunday. On Sunday. So day 14, you'll get to see uh, the result of that uh, of you know basically how I can speak Thai for that exactly. for that length of time, unedited. Um, Great. Oh, we will be looking forward to that, and wish you guys a good weekend. Cheers, guys.